Hey everyone, it's Kristen from Kristen April's Art bringing you a coloring book review. Today we will be reviewing the Plucky Patterns coloring book from the jumbled brain of Rachel Gillum. She is a UK based artist as you can see in her spelling of coloring which is a little different than the American version. On the front cover, she has four colored samples of some pages that are in the inside of the book, as well as on her back cover, she's got 12 colored samples and a nice little green um, shade, kind of like a tealish green. On the inside of the book, her first page is a little bit about her. Now this book is published through Create Space to so the Paper is create space quality paper which i personally love the um, quality of create space paper her website here rachelgillum.co.uk and a little bit of where you can find her on social media the next page is her dedication page thanking her uh, colorists and such a page on her terms of use so how you can use it um, reproduce it, sharing it, that kind of stuff. And her first coloring page is a book plate page where it says this book belongs to. You can add your name. Um, I like these little bits of tape here. Those are really cute. Um, down on the bottom, you can write your name where it says colored by. And then there is her website again, in case you want to tear this out. Um, you can still have a reference for the page and then there's this really nice border on the pages that I like. The first one kind of reminds me of those little toys we had when we were young where you could um, put put it on the page. They're called spinographs. You would put it on your paper, put your pencil in, spin it around. That's what this page reminds me of. Really fun. Kind of like mandalas. Here's a really cute little butterfly page for any butterfly lovers. And what I like about this book is some patterns are um, really busy. Some are a little, uh, the spaces are larger for colorists such as this one, the little 3D cubes. Those are some large, nice areas to color. And then there's some pages that have really tiny, intricate areas to color. This page is really fun with all the little gears. This page I actually colored. Um, I colored this one digitally using my Procreate app. It was a lot of fun to color this one. And that is, I believe, on her back cover too. Another little um, just random shapes design. What's really fun about these pattern pages is they're really relaxing to color because there's no right or wrong way to color them. You just grab a color and start going to town. This one um, and many of the other pages that are in here, you can, after you color them, use as um, in different types of arts and crafts. So you can use this to say like wrap a little box or use it in scrapbooking, make some origami out of these when you're done. This one's got some nice dark black lines. This one I used uh, Crayola crayons to color with to see what the crayons would look like on the paper. Another little flower pattern. Another busy pattern. This one I really like, nice open spaces. Now this one's really detailed. It's got some really tiny little circles to color. So you might want to use something with a small tip. This one's really interesting. This one I colored using alcohol-based markers. And as you can see, it will go through to the back side of the page. That's why these pages are single-sided. You want to put something behind the page to make sure it doesn't um, spread to the next page. A crown page really cute. This one's pretty interesting looking. Another really intricate page to color. Again, you might want to use gel pens or something, pencils for those small areas. This one reminds me of poppies. Really cute. A fun little, it looks like um, TVs with the antenna, like the jumbled TVs. 
another cute flower page. And then she has some blotter pages in the back. There are one, two, three, three blotter pages. And as you can see, I like to test my colors out on those. And then another blank page. And there you have it. The Plucky Patterns Coloring Book from the Jumbled Brain of Rachel Gillum. 